Now look, I, I've interviewed Oliver Stone, uh, we had a great interview, you should check it out on TYT interviews. Uh, so I know him a little bit now, uh, we've had a couple of you know, social exchanges, etc. So I'm quote unquote biased because of that. Uh, and I also wound up watching his whole 10 part series on Showtime on the untold history of the United States. That's where my, again, quote, bias comes in here because I thought it was terrific and eye opening, right? So now I'm predisposed to liking what Oliver Stone does. But boy, did he meet expectations. He did a, a video here for ACLU to talk about civil liberties. And the last line, the twist that he uses there, I absolutely love. So watch this. Does it concern you that the government is spying on you? 30 years ago, to even ask this question would have been a scandal. If you lived through Watergate, if you read the church committee reports, you know the costs of unchecked government surveillance. The government is exploiting our amnesia. We did not pass the Fourth Amendment in order to protect those with something to hide. We passed that amendment which prohibits general warrants or limitless surveillance because we know all too well the cost of an unaccountable government. The question is not, do you have something to hide? The question is whether we control government or the government controls us. Oh, I love that line at the end. The question is, do we control our own government? Remember, it's supposed to be our government, our representatives. Or does the government control us? That's the essence of the American question. And the American answer is, we are supposed to control our government, not the reverse. That's exactly the right framing and that's exactly what's at hand here with the NSA spying issues and the gross violation of civil liberties across the board. But what's interesting is it's not just the liberal like Oliver Stone who's saying this, it's not just me saying it, Glenn Greenwald, David Sirota, Jeremy Scahill, etc. It's now some congressmen and senators. Slowly, slowly, but it's catching on. Jerry Nadler is a congressman from New York and he says, the national security state has grown so that any administration is now not upfront with Congress. It, it's an imbalance that's grown in our government and one that we have to cleanse. Now, look at how carefully he's saying that because he's a Democrat. He doesn't want to say the Obama administration is the one that's at fault here. But he is saying, no matter what the administration, Bush administration or Obama administration, the national security state has gotten totally out of hand. And by the way, he represents the district in New York City that got hit on 9-11. And he's saying this has gone too far. Now, Senator Ron Wyden is one of the few senators who's been fighting bravely on this issue from day one. He says, these statements gave the public a false impression of how these authorities were actually being interpreted, referring to what the NSA said about their spying. The disclosures of the last few weeks have made it clear that a secret body of law authorizing secret surveillance overseen by a largely secret court has infringed on American civil liberties and privacy rights without offering the public the ability to judge for themselves whether these broad powers are appropriate or necessary. It's just the beginning here. We still have largely bipartisan support in the national security state and the police state and the surveillance state. So you've got prominent Democrats like Dianne Feinstein and prominent Republicans, you name them, <laughs> with the exception of Rand Paul and a couple of others who say, oh, absolutely, the American people must be spied upon. They must all be assumed to be guilty. No specific warrant is necessary, which is in clear and obvious violation of the Fourth Amendment. But there are a few brave souls saying, look, they made these decisions in secret. They never really told you how they're interpreting the law. And now they say, well, we've been doing it all along. Well, that's no answer at all. <laughs> in fact, you've been doing it wrong all along, illegally, unconstitutionally all along. And the brave voices, whether it's Oliver Stone or Ron Wyden or Jerry Nadler, are now beginning to speak out. We hope those voices build and build on both sides of the aisle until we finally get a consensus saying, enough is enough. America is not supposed to be a police state. As Stone pointed out there, it would have been unthinkable 30 years ago. Even in the midst of Nixon's abuses, it would have been the state of the police state we have now would have been unimaginable and unacceptable and we've come way too far in accepting it as the American people and certainly our politicians and certainly our media. We have to fight back and make sure it does not become the new America. We liked America the way it was when it stood for freedom.